watching Crafty Monsters. <laughs> My friends, my family, and our subscribers. Today is Monday, June 30th, 2014, and today I am back to the normal life, <laughs> which feels so good. Um, but I am actually having to kind of kick it into high gear because we are going camping, and then uh, Faith is going to be leaving to go to camp by herself. Um, for the week so she's really super excited she's on countdown like how I was for VidCon <laughs> and she just talks about her experiences from last year so I need to somehow figure out a way of uh, maybe looking into my little stash of cameras and see if there's any that uh, that work so then uh, she can take a camera and videotape and take pictures and stuff of her experience while she's out there so then I can hopefully include those into uh, the vlog once she gets home. Uh, but anyways, yeah, so I am sitting here out, well, not sitting, but I'm out here standing in my front yard. And um, <laughs> there's a car driving by looking at me really weird. Like, I'm wondering what they're doing. Kind of looks like they're casing the house or something really weird. Um, but anyways, um, out, I'm standing out here watering the yard. Um, because I haven't been here and, uh, you know, there's no telling how it was being watered while I was gone. So nobody can take care of my plants in my yard like I do. I I'm, I'm the best person, okay? I'm just going to throw it out there right now. I'm the best person to take care of this stuff. <laughs> but I am very thankful that Scott um, did take care of the um, the plants in the yard and stuff while I was gone. Um, he did a good job. I didn't come home to any dead babies. <laughs> so that sounds kind of awful, dead babies. No, no, let's not say that. Any dead plants. There you go. Um, I have not ventured out to the backyard yet, so I'm keeping my fingers crossed. I can tell you that my garden is looking awesome. It is looking so, so good here in the front yard. So I'm actually going to turn the water off so I can show you guys what I'm talking about because it's just, it's, it's amazing <laughs> what's happening out here. So I don't know what the deal is here, but this car is very suspicious. So I'm just going to kind of uh, pretend like I am videotaping like I was and see what happens. Um, really kind of weird. Yeah, that was very, very weird. Did you guys see that? I don't like it when people like that come into our neighborhood. It totally freaks me out. Around in this neighborhood, like really super slow. And it kind of looks like they're kind of casing the area. I don't know. <laughs> At least I got, the, got some footage just in case there is anything that happens. I do have some footage of them driving around and what kind of car it is. <sighs> man, scary. It's so scary. You know, it's like it's weird because itch on the nose. Wait just one second. <laughs> ah, my hair is like blowing in the wind and it just went on my nose and now it's all tickling it. Ah. But anyways, um, it's, it's kind of weird, you know, because it's like I live right in the center where on one side of a main street, it's like, like the ghetto, like really super bad. Um, where there's kind of like a lot of troublemakers and stuff that live over in the area. Um, there's a lot like of violence and drugs and stuff like that all the time over there. And um, they're going around again. So here we just one second. What are these people doing? This is so weird, you guys. Okay, let me try getting this again because now they're like stopped in, so in front of somebody's house. Okay, so they're stopped in, so in front of somebody's house, so I'm going to see what happens. And if they, stop, if they start driving again, then I'll have to tune it back over there. Um, but basically on the, other side of the ha on the other side of the street, then, uh, okay, here they come. That address doesn't exist in this neighborhood. <laughs> 2768, that's a four digit number. 
and we are more than four numbers so they're definitely in the wrong neighborhood so oh, my heart is racing so bad <laughs> oh my gosh you guys i don't know if you guys can tell that the camera's all shaky because it's just like oh my gosh you just don't know who you're going to encounter uh, okay so anyway now let me control my nerves okay so on the other side of from where i live um, that's where people with more money live, so they have bigger homes and bigger yards and, you know, better looking cars and, you know, keeping up with the Joneses type syndrome type of thing. So it's like, it's funny because my, um, when I tell, um, some people over there, like where I live, like kind of like in between, like, it's kind of funny. They will be like, oh, <laughs> You know, just like really super snooty, and I just laugh about it. You know, it's totally funny. But uh, anyway, so yeah, so let me get back now that they're gone. Let me go ahead and get back to uh, me showing you the garden um, and what's going on over there. Okay, so here is my watermelon plant right inside of here. Um, it's uh, it, they're actually planted inside of two tires. Um, for those of you who are new that haven't seen this, um, there's two tires that are stacked on top of each other and then I put some soil or compost inside and then I put some watermelon plants. Now this plant is going like crazy. It's like stringing all the way across this little patch. But the only thing that's really kind of frustrating is that there's no watermelons growing. Um, so that is a bit frustrating to me. Um, now this is what I actually wanted to show you, and I don't know if the camera will pick it up since it's kind of still so bright out here. But I have the squash right here, and I am actually going to need to pick that one because it's so huge. So let me do that, um, and then I'll show you just exactly how big that is because it is, I have two of them in there. They're ginormous. So let me go ahead and do that really quick. Oh my gosh, you guys, check this out. This is amazing. That is my garden shoe. And this is the squash. It's bigger. It's like almost two times the size of my shoe. That is amazing. This is the type of squash that it is. It's a squash caserta is the name of it, a caserta squash. And um, I got these from Mike the Gardener, as you can see there. And these were... Um, uh, non-GMO seeds and whew, this is amazing I don't think they're supposed to be this big I really don't think so um, so this is uh, quite a surprise it was not this big before I went to uh, the VidCon so I have to say it probably grew like another half a shoe I mean this is incredible my neighbor has been eyeing these squashes um, since I showed her uh, last week in the vlog um, that was in, that, um, the footage that was included in the vlog. And so I'm going to go walk over there and I'm going to go give this to her as like a little gift. Just because. No special reason. Just because. Just because I'm a good neighbor, right? <laughs> okay, let me go walk over there and go give this to her. She'll be like totally happy to get the squash. So here you see the lettuce plants that I've just been uh, kind of holding off from pulling out of the ground because I wanted them to flower. After them, after they're done flowering, they will um, produce like these little white fuzzy flower type of things on the ends. And so if you pull the the um, the white part off, I'm going to do that right here, very carefully. You'll notice, let me get this to focus here so you can actually see it. Let's see. Come on, focus. You'll see that it produces seeds. So this one actually produced quite a bit with this white little flower. So what I need to do is I just need to go ahead and find like a Tic Tac container or some kind of breath mint container. And I will put these seeds into the container to kind of save for next season. Uh, that way I don't have to buy more seeds. I can just go ahead and uh, use my resources wisely by replanting the seeds that nature gives us already. Goodbye icebreaker mints. Hello butterhead lettuce seeds. <sighs> I gotta tell you guys, this was some awesome tasting lettuce. Uh, 
I can't wait until next season to uh, give it a whole new start. This is going to be awesome. Plenty of seeds. More seeds now than what I started with. Actually, no, with this one, all I had was four plants. So I definitely, as you can see, have more than four plants sitting right here waiting for me for next season. In the backyard now, and look what I get to, uh, look what seeds I get to pick here. These are the onions. And with the onions, it has this big, long stalk, and then it flowers. And... Now I'm going to go ahead and pick these seeds off of the onions. I've never picked onion seeds. So it looks like I'm going to have my work cut out for me today <laughs> with all of these seeds that are producing. Pretty awesome. I love this. I always love coming out here to my backyard and my front yard and looking at my garden because it always seems to be something new and something fun and interesting to discover. Um, just spending my time out here watering and seeing how much my plants have grown in the time that I've been away. It's amazing. I love it. I, I absolutely love this. I really hope that you guys enjoy my garden just as much as I do because I share so much of it. <laughs> so I don't know if you guys are like, oh gosh, she's sharing her garden again. Or if you guys genuinely do have an interest in my garden. Um, it just brings me so much peace and happiness, seriously, just to see and just to see my plants and to see their growth and to know that I started this garden pretty much just off of seeds. Um, it really is an incredible thing to be able to do something like this in such a small little yard or a small little area, especially growing all of my stuff in containers. Um, I would have never thought that I would be able to grow something like this. Um, you know, it's just, it's, it's a lot of fun. <laughs> okay, so now after watering my garden, I harvested a few little vegetables. So let me go ahead and share with you guys what I found. It's not much, but it's a whole lot more than before I left. So I got tons of tomatoes, got some jalapenos, got some strawberries, I got some cherry tomatoes, and again, another cucumber. Um, I also have some basil down here. Now that I'm thinking about it, let me come down here. I have some basil. Yeah, I have some good leaves over here on the basil, so I think what we'll have to dinner, uh, for dinner tonight is some uh, tomato basil squares, which is a Pampered Chef recipe. So I'm gonna go ahead and pull off some of these leaves and we'll have ourselves a really good dinner. Can't wait. Yum. It's one of the family's favorites. Hi guys, it is me here with a question of the day. And it's been a long time since I've done one. So I made one super delicious. And would you rather be a hamburger or a hot dog? Mom, what's yours? I said that I wanted to be a, a hamburger. I'd rather be a hamburger too. They're more <laughs> delicious. They're more delicious, but not only that, but not as many people like hot dogs, I think. Yeah, I don't like so, hot dogs either. So, well, that's the question of the day. All right, everybody, I am officially heading to bed. It's very late at night. Today's video was obviously all about mostly gardening, but it really wasn't all that I did today. I actually spent most of my day today editing videos from VidCon. Um, as you all guys already know, there was a video that uh, uploaded earlier in the day and then um, got a couple more edited and got those ones up and they are uploading right now. So, um, this is by the time that you guys get to this video, it's already going to be like a few days past, <laughs> but um, that's really honestly what I've been doing today. So there really isn't too much uh, to share with you guys. Um, now I am going to, uh, now I'm just only two days behind, yesterday and then today. So I'm hoping to get both of these days uh, up tomorrow so then I can be caught up and then uh, be ready for our camping trip. Uh, that's coming up. So, and then that'll put, that'll set me back again. <laughs> um, so yeah, just bear with me. We do a lot as a family and the places that we go to when we go out and about, 
Um, it's in an area where we don't have internet service. Uh, even if I really wanted to, it's not happening because we are so far out and away um, from any kind of civilization. <laughs> um, where there's like really hardly any service at all. So it's, it's just one of those things where I have to edit and do all of that stuff once I get home. But anyways, I uh, like I said, I'm going to go ahead and head off to bed. I want to thank you all for being here. And um, you guys are awesome. Totally, totally awesome. And for all of you that are new to this channel, thank you so much. I hope that you guys enjoy this channel. And uh, don't forget to leave comments down below because I really enjoy reading your guys' comments and interacting with all of you guys. So until tomorrow, I love you friends, I love you family, and thank you, you guys, for all of you that are viewing this video right now and that are, that are subscribed to this channel. You guys are awesome. So until tomorrow, bye guys. All right, everybody, thank you so much for making it all the way here to the end card. If you missed yesterday's video, then please go ahead and click on the video where it says yesterday right next beside it. If you are interested in watching a non-vlog video, then please go ahead and click on that mystery box with the question mark right in the middle. If you like this video, please do not forget to like this video with giving me a thumbs up. Leave a comment down below because I love the interaction with you guys. I love reading your comments and I also love responding to your comments as well. If you're new to this channel, Channel, please do not forget to subscribe and if you like this video and you like this channel please do not forget to share. Please keep in mind that you can also find me on Facebook, Pinterest, Instagram, Google Plus, and Twitter.